Good morning, Mavens. I'm Andrea. Welcome to the Homemaking Maven. So today I'm going to do a quick video just talking about homeschool. It's homeschool Monday. Hooray. So the kids are busy with friends, so you can probably hear them. They're quite noisy. Anyway, if you hear any background noise, that's what it is. So I'm talking today about my grade two curriculum. So I do have five kids and my third child, she is in grade two. And so we're going to talk about that. We are in Canada. And so we do have a bilingual homeschool. So we do French and English. So I'm going to link up above my morning routine and you can see all five kids in there and you can see how we do mostly French in the morning. We do a lot of singing and the date and the weather and all that fun stuff. And yeah, that's just how we start our day. Then we get into writing. So with my grade two, where we do our writing is in these two books. <laughs> So this is phonics. So she'll do a page out of this. She loves this and she's really good at it. And I'm so, so happy with this book. I'll definitely link it down below for you as well as she works on cursive. So that's one handwriting that she is doing right now. So we do both of those books for her as well as spelling. So it's a grade one, two spelling. And um, I absolutely love these folks, the S and S teaching materials. Um, so I'll link these down below. And we absolutely love this book. The pages are beautiful. She loves doing the little activities and pretty much every week she is acing her spelling test. So I'm really happy with that book. Okay, so after we do our writing, then we move into math. And if you've been with me for any length of time, you know exactly what we're using for math. And that is the complete Canadian curriculum. <laughs> So we have, there is a math section in here that I absolutely love for math. I just love the way that um, the book goes through the math, teaching each subject, like at what time introducing it. And so that's what we follow along. And sometimes I will get extra pages from the internet or from books that I've gotten from the dollar store, but mostly she just does two pages every single day. And she is actually ahead. She's completed all the math in the grade two and she's moved on to the grade three Canadian curriculum. Just because she seems to have a mind for math, she catches on to um, concepts very quickly. She understands, you know, the rules of math and how to apply it to different word situations. She just gets it. So I'm like, not a problem. That's the benefit of homeschool. If you um, learn something really quickly, we can just move on to the next thing. So that's really enjoyable to watch her be so proud of her accomplishments and move on to the next section. So um, after we do math, then we move on to our French. And it took me a very long time to finally get a French curriculum that I liked for my homeschool kids that I like to teach. And again, it is through the same creators of the Canadian homeschool curriculum. They're called Popular Book Company. And so I got these complete French Smart. There is French Smart. Those books are much, much smaller, much thinner. And um, I couldn't understand why some folks on the internet were telling me to use the French Smart because there wasn't enough material to cover like to last a whole year, but the complete French Smart, that is very different. Now the complete one, they start in grade four. And so this grade one book is actually the grade four book. She, so she's a year behind because it took me a while to find these. Um, so I did try doing um, Duolingo for kids, French for her grade one year and it really didn't teach her much French at all. She knows a couple words, like I think she knows pineapple and maybe duck. She really, I was really disappointed. Anyway, but she is doing this book as well as the grade five one, which I've labeled as grade two. She is doing both books. So she's, I'm mainly doing the grade one first just because of the vocab. She's a little bit behind. And so she's learning a lot of the vocabulary, but she's already doing the reading in the grade two. And that is partly why I really, really enjoy this is because the first half of the book is all the um, like vocabulary and learning the words and learning like the sentence structure and the grammar. But then the last half is learning how to read. And so I'm really enjoying that. Oh, here's my youngest Magdalene. <laughs> she is three and she is um, pre-kindergarten at this point. So she's not doing a lot of the heavy lifting learning. All right, step aside, sweetie. Can you say hi? Okay. Hi. hi. And then when we do English, um, we do English on Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> we head into this book. And so I really enjoy this because there is a reading and a reading comprehension question portion, as well as English grammar and uh, so a little bit of phonics in here for the grade two. And so I really, really do love this for um, English. So this is what we've been following for our English. Okay, so that is 
pretty much the week done. So we focus on our reading or yes, and then we do reading in the afternoon. So we, I have a list uh, that I use for reading and I'll show you that in just a moment. And, uh, and we've got our language and then we've got our math and we've got our writing. On Friday, we have something very special. I'll link that up above as well as down below our Friday schedule because that has a separate set of books. They are all here. Our Friday is the day that I teach all the kids all at once. So I've got my grade seven, my grade five, my grade two, and my kindergartner, and they learn all of it all at once. Of course, their like retention of the material is gonna be different depending on their grade level, but I just expose it, the information to them and they absorb it as they will. Um, because when it comes to history, geography, and science, the different levels of learning, it, it's just so very, very similar if you look at the different grade levels, at least for elementary. That's where I'm at right now. Um, but I will, um, again, link these books down below. We've got logic, we've got history, we've got science, and we've got geography. But the number one book that my grade two actually absolutely loves, absolutely loves, is this art. <laughs> Friday is our art and she loves this book. Um, this is our new book and so I wasn't sure how well it would do with my kids, but my daughter loves it so much that after she learns a technique, um, she wants to do, repeat it. And so when she has some extra time when she's done her regular homeschool work, um, she will again do the same artwork. And so I am so happy to have this book and I'm gonna show you a few pictures of her artwork. We've got sort of a little booklet happening and you can see the different things that she's doing. And again, she's just grade two. She's only seven years old. And um, this is the kind of artwork she's able to make. So that is it. I'm almost at seven minutes now. Um, oh, I'll quickly go over the reading. I'll just show you the book that I get the reading list from and just show you where I have her books in her room. So for literature, I use the Well-Trained Mind. I use the um, literature, reading literature guide that she recommends for grade two. And so that's what we use just to um, give her sort of a harder, um, harder books to read, just to really encourage her reading. Things like Young Princess and the Canterbury Tales of Geoffrey Chaucer and uh, St. George and the Dragon and even Shakespeare. Some introductory to Shakespeare at grade two level. So that's really fun to expose her to those authors and those different ideas. Um, so we do have two types of reading. Um, so, well, so sort of three types. We've got the French reading, which I already showed you in the French smart book. Um, the second reading is just the little easy readers that we go through. Some we get from the library, some we own, and some I got secondhand. Um, and then the third is the, the reading list. So that is our grade two curriculum. Of course, it doesn't include other lessons that we do, like she enjoys gymnastics and pickleball and swim lessons and all those extracurricular activities that we also add into our school day. Um, but yeah, that's it for our book learning. And now that it's completely dark outside, even though it's only five o'clock, I've got to go get supper ready. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Ravens.